You know what I mean? Yeah, bad things happen to good people. Yeah. So why is it happening to me, though? very eventful. Today has been, I mean, it has been a, it has been a day um, <laughs> that I want to share with you guys because why the hell not? You guys are my motherfucking purple knights and I love you guys so much. This video might be a little ranty, it might be a little venty, but you know what? Uh, that is my specialty here on YouTube. So my day started with a phone call. I woke up to a phone call. It was my mom. She was telling me, hey, um, my niece is sick. She needs to be picked up from school ASAP, she was crying, you know, we gotta go pick her up, so I'm like, okay, first of all, I was having a really good dream, and I did not want to, I did not want to get out of bed, I really did not, I did not sleep well, okay, I had like a few hours of sleep, and I just did not want to get up, but I had to, so I got up, and I, uh, pulled myself together, not really, I look like a crazy ass witch who, like, lives under a bridge and, like, doesn't brush her hair and shit, like, that's what I look like when I wake up. I, uh, I have to take the truck. Which has like zero gas because nobody ever drives this fucking thing. Alright, literally zero gas. It is on empty and I'm just like, crap, it's hot. And I realize while I'm driving there that if I ran out of gas, I'm in complete black pants and black shirt and it's like, it's really hot. So I get to school, I go in, I sign her out, I take her home and you know what? <laughs> the first thing I notice is she doesn't look sick. She, she's not acting sick, she doesn't seem sick, she's fine. And uh, I was right because it turns out that she wasn't sick. She just was having a bad day, the guy who likes her did something wrong, and it was just a dramatic uh, middle school event. No emergency at all. After that, we get home and, f like, keep in mind, I haven't eaten yet. I'm hungry, okay? When I wake up, I'm hungry. I want my carbs. I want my carbohydrates. I want my energy, my fuel. I haven't eaten yet. As soon as I get home, I'm like, I'm gonna eat. Okay, yes. I start steaming my vegetables. They look so good. They look so yummy. And then my niece decides, okay, I want to go back to school because she had a run for cross uh, CrossFit. <laughs> cross country. She had a run, a meet, whatever the fuck. Fine. She wants to go back to school. She's over it. She's, she's moved on. She wants to go back to school. But the thing is, we have literally like seven minutes to get her there. I mean, the school is not that far from me, but seven minutes to get there. Okay, fine. So we rush out, and this time we take my car, because I'm like, you know what? If I have to fucking make this drive again, if I have to do this, I'm going to drive my car. Which, I love driving my car. That was a, that was a really, that was the best part of my day, is getting to just drive my car a little bit. I love my baby. I love being in my baby. I love it, even though, like, my mirror keeps falling off. My rear view mirror keeps falling off, and it's pretty ridiculous. So I had to drive today without that and it that's pretty difficult you're still looking in the mirror and it's just like not there and you're like oh shit is there is there a cop behind me i'm legal so i drive her back to the school and i have to go back into the school and sign her back in because i'm her guardian blah 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 so i'm walking in and my other niece who is in the line to get into the bus yells out my name like whatever and then this this random fluffy haired kid yells out hi angie and i'm just like hi kid like whatever Okay, so I go into the school, I sign her in, and I'm like, okay, you know, here's what happened, blah, 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 I explain it to them, and then I, I'm walking out to leave, back to my car, and then that same fluffy-haired kid is in the school bus, he opens the window, and he yells out, you look good today, and then he closes it, and I'm just like, I was just catcalled by a fifth grader. That's very uncomfortable, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. And finally I get to eat my vegetables and things are things are feeling normal. And I just want to let you guys know, today, today especially, is has been such a fucking annoying day because I am PMSing like a motherfucker. You don't care, I don't care. Okay? Try being somebody who doesn't care but still has to deal with it. It sucks, alright? Yeah, you're emotional. So all fucking day. It doesn't even matter. Somebody could be just talking to me and I just felt like I was gonna cry. Like I felt like they weren't understanding me. I just felt like everybody was out to get me today. I was so fucking pissy. And I would I just I just wanted to cry. When you get so angry that you just want to fucking cry, like that was me all day. All day. I was so emotional. I was so stupid. And my sister was visiting too, so that made that great. Like I was just like this complete bitch all day because I just wanted to fucking cry. Because if somebody looked at me, I wanted to cry. Somebody fucking talked to me, I just wanted to cry. I look at myself in the mirror, oh my god, okay, like you guys know that I have put on weight, right? Yeah, well, you know what today, today it just magnified. Alright, I am a fucking obese fuck is what I felt like and I just seriously wanted to cry so bad I actually almost did on the way to the gym, which we're getting on to so my mom finally gets home She was gone getting these books because she won them in an auction And we have literally an entire trailer full of books now because she has a bookstore and blah 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 whatever She gets home with more books and it's in the car that I need to go to the gym 
and nothing is going to stop me from going to the gym today. I am very emotional. I'm very angry. I'm anxious. I just want to I just want to work out. So, okay, fine. I have to empty the books before I can go to the gym. That's fine, whatever. So, I empty the books, but I also have to do inventory because again, she has a bookstore, so we have to know what we have and blah 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 blah. And by the way, before I started unloading the books, I woke my brother up and I told him, "Hey, you know, get ready to go to the gym because we recently just got him a membership and he's been going to the gym with me. He's my gym buddy, whatever." So, I told him ahead of time because I knew that it was going to take this time like to unload the books I was like hey okay wake up we're going to the gym it's gonna be great and uh, yeah so I unload the books and do everything I need to do and then I come in and he's still sleeping he ignored me he didn't get up now I have to wait another 30 to 40 minutes because I swear he takes longer than me to get ready and like girl I have to draw eyebrows on like what do you have to do finally he gets done and we're on our way to the gym thank god and the whole way there I'm just like venting almost like crying he's just like shut up like I don't care another note is that uh, all day I have been texting my sister okay and all she had to do is respond to me just respond just you know uh, send me some sort of indication that you understand what I'm saying to you because this 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 is connected to my plans of the day and if you're not gonna like acknowledge that and understand it you're ruining my day you're throwing my day off and like she's not fucking responding to me still to this to this what time is it 12 30 no response from you sister so anyway we get to the gym and instantly I'm going upstairs I want to hit that bag I want that heavy bag I want to punch something I go upstairs my brother and I start sparring or I don't fucking know if that's the correct term for it he's holding the thing and I'm punching the shit out of it because the gloves I have at my gym are not meant to hit a heavy bag even though I did anyway that's how I broke my knuckles open the other time is because I was not wearing the correct gloves anyway I did that again today although I didn't break my knuckles open because I learned that you don't you don't hit it as hard as you can every single time because then you're just gonna tire yourself out and guess what your opponent your opponent will still have energy and kick your ass so yeah I've been watching a lot of UFC and like training videos but point is like I, I was punching and I was doing kickboxing and I just felt so good instantly as soon as I got to my gym as soon as I started working out I felt great I was content I was happy my gym is my savior my gym is my sanctuary my gym is my life I love you gym so I'm doing box jumps and um things are going well and then all of a sudden my fucking the tip of my foot like catches the box wrong and it trips me so that my fucking shin slams into the goddamn box and then like slides down and hits my knee and like seriously I just wanted to fucking die like instantly I started laughing just because it's like fuck I messed up in the public place or whatever so I start laughing at myself and then of course you know there's a personal trainer right there who saw the whole thing okay as somebody who wants to be a personal trainer who is studying to be a personal trainer right now like seriously like that is that is not a good impression to make on other personal trainers like we all need to be like this but instead we're like ha 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 you just tripped and died and that's not what personal trainer do right <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah and you can see me in the video do this and I'm like yeah I'm okay cuz like the guy asked me if I was okay the personal trainer and I was like yeah 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 and then somehow we get in this conversation about skateboarding and knees and squats and I'm just like yeah this doesn't hurt at all it hurt really bad it hurt so bad like my my leg was just pulsating 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 whatever the fuck for like the entire rest of my gym trip I can't English. What is English? I don't know. So after the gym, my brother and I end up having to wait in town for a little bit longer um, for my mom and dad to get in, and we had like this shit to do, personal business, guys. Mm. Anyway, so we had to wait for them, so we're like walking around this very, very beautiful area. You know what? I've lived here my whole life, and I've, I just don't see shit. So this was very cool to me, but um, yeah, so we're walking around this, and like all of a sudden it's fucking freezing. Literally, it is so fucking cold. It might have been because of the back sweat. I didn't pack extra gym clothes. I always pack extra clothes after the gym because I don't like to wear the same clothes that I worked out in because like, ew, and also cold. I get cold. So I don't like to do that, but today I, I did it because I was in such a fucking hurry just to get to the damn gym and just to work out that I just didn't think about it. And we get home, I'm happy, yes, yes, hang out with my sister, great. And then my mom, okay, I was showing her the video on my phone um, where I fell and hurt my leg. I showed everybody. I was like, yeah, and I didn't cry. And <laughs> yeah, so I was like, 
bragging about it as if it was something cool. Like, I'm excited because I'm gonna upload this and I really, really, like, if I'm in a gym fail compilation, I'm gonna be like, my life is complete because fuck yeah, I don't know why, okay? I watch those things and they're funny. I'm showing my mom the video on my phone and she has these, um, these clothespins. I don't know, she just has them because our dryer was recently broken and we had to fucking hang our clothes like peasants outside on a, like I didn't. I went to somebody else's house and I used their dryer because I'm not a peasant and I'm not about to hang my clothes on a fucking string outside in the sunlight. Like, what? Yeah, so we have like all these extra clothespins and she went to like pin it right here on the top of my phone. Like, just because, you know, whatever, right there on the top. But like, the phone is too fat. And it like clipped on, but then it popped off, and it shot right the fuck in my eye. Like literally right in my freaking eye. I don't know how I'm not blind, and instantly my reaction, like my eye is fucking crying, it's leaking, it's dripping, like I can't open it, like it's just like whatever. But my first fucking reaction is to like open instantly, like can I see? I can see, okay I'm great. Like if I couldn't see out of my eye, I was gonna fucking lose my shit and cry and die and like I was never gonna be okay again in my life ever. But because I could see, like I didn't care that it was an excruciating pain, like seriously it hurts so bad. It's worse than when you have your fucking headset, if you guys have ever used this and like swiped it down and accidentally swiped your eye that hurts so fucking bad it was worse than that okay like literally shot directly into my fucking eye i put eye drops in it and then later on um because i put out eye drops or the allergy eye drops that i put into my eye i looked in the mirror and like this pupil was like this big and this one was like normal so i started freaking out thinking oh my god like is this a sign i'm gonna die or something but in reality it wasn't it was just because my allergy eye drops make your pupils dilate so yeah there, that was a, a mini panic attack I didn't want to have. So that's why I'm not wearing any eye makeup right now. I'm sorry, but I cried it off, so. <laughs> so it's like 9 o'clock at night at this point, and I have to drive my sister into town to meet up with her boyfriend so that they can go home. So I'm walking out the front door, and um, <laughs> my dog, my dog threw up all throughout the hallway. And um, how do I know this? Because it's all over my fucking foot, and I'm wearing sandals. And guess what? The worst part of this is that he was eating ribs. He was eating a dead animal, and that dead animal was all over my foot. And I just wanted to puke and cry, and just I just wanted to die. I just wanted to crawl into a hole at that point. Because I was like, now I have to drive. Should I be driving? I probably shouldn't be driving today. Today is a fuck day. You know? Today is not a good day. So, but I did it anyway, and we were okay. Thank you, God, for that. But, um, yeah. Today has not been great. So, I drive her into town, we come back, and finally I just gotta sit down, relax do some internet shopping for some vitamins and drink some water. I drink water. Hydration. Hydration is great. I love water. Water's great. Yeah, don't you? Okay. So my day, my night's finally nice and then guess what? Guess what happens? My laptop, as I'm trying to make this video, does this to me. And then I go to the bathroom and some freaking moron put like toothpaste on the light switch. So I had like toothpaste on my hand and I run it through, I ran it through my fucking hair without even realizing. So then I got toothpaste in my hair. That, uh, that has been my day. The most dramatic day of my life, I think, right now. But you know what the weird thing about me is, though? Like, at the end of bad days, like this one, on, like, it wasn't all bad, but the majority of my day was bad. So at the end of bad days like this one, I feel really happy at the end of the night. I feel, like, really good. Like, if I have, like, this amazing, awesome, best day ever, at the end of that day, I'm gonna feel fucking sad. I just feel really sad after a really good day, and just really happy after a really crappy day. Does that make sense? Like, at the end of the day, I just feel so happy. Maybe it's because like at the end of a bad day, it's like, I survived, I'm happy, but then at the end of a good day, it's like, it's not gonna last, like, what? Come back, you know? But anyway, so thank you guys so much for listening to me rant and bitch and vent about my life. That's This is what I do best, honestly. So um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna leave this be in the description. Don't forget, my purple knights, don't ever forget, you guys are amazing. You are beautiful motherfuckers, and peasants should never, ever be able to get you down because peasants are peasants, and you are royal knights, and you are beautiful. And I love you guys so much, and you are amazing, and I love your support, and I wouldn't be anything without you guys. So that's that. All my links will be in the description. Don't forget, elegance is key.